This video is brought to you by Thinkific. Now, over the last decade, I have been involved in selling online courses in some capacity. Here at Think Media, we've actually been selling online courses for the last seven years uh, into the uh, eight figures in online course sales. So when it comes to knowing how to sell online courses using YouTube, this is going to be the right video for you. We have figured out how to use YouTube as our marketing machine. So we're reaching the right people who want to learn more and grow and who are the right people for our online courses. And I wanna share those tips with you today. Now, this video is in partnership with an amazing course platform called Thinkific. So if you've not already created your online course, then you definitely wanna check out Thinkific uh, as a place to host your course. You don't wanna host it on YouTube. You actually want to host your course on a course platform. And Thinkific is a great uh, company for that. I'll tell you a little bit more about them in just a few. So let's jump into the five tips for selling your online course using your YouTube channel. Number one is you wanna make sure you've picked your niche. Now, I'm assuming that you already have created your online course and that you already know who your course is for. If you have not done that step, then I'm gonna encourage you to pause this video and go back to my previous video I did in this series all about getting your online course launched. Meaning, how do you start an online course? What steps should you be taking? And I walk you through that free tutorial. So go back to that video if you've not already done that. But if you're already at the point that you have an online course, and maybe sales are stagnant, maybe you're trying to figure out how do I match my course with my YouTube channel, then tip number one is you wanna make sure that you are clear on who this is for. Now, I know you want everyone to buy your thing, but let me tell you, if you try and reach everyone, you end up reaching no one. Actually, I was just talking to a recent course creator and he said, I really thought that this course was gonna be for everyone. Like everyone needs what I'm selling. But after he launched it, he realized that there was a particular market that needed this course, right? There was a particular tribe that needed this course. And so when you are designing your YouTube channel to sell your course, you need to make sure you're speaking the right language to the right people. So if you have an online course that is going to be helping people lose weight, let's say you're a fitness instructor, then you wanna make sure that the content you're creating is actually for those people. So don't sell something that is not in correlation with what your YouTube channel is about. If you are in aviation and you have a course about actually how to become a pilot and you're walking people through that, then don't be making food content on your YouTube channel. Both of those things need to be aligned in order for you to grow that business. So tip number one is make sure you're speaking to the right people in the right niche. Tip number two is you're gonna wanna create your content roadmap. Now you probably have a lot of video ideas, but what I need you to really consider are what are the 20 questions leading up to someone purchasing your course. You're not just making content in isolation, you really wanna understand what are their pain points? What are they struggling with? What are the obstacles that they are that are holding them back from them actually saying yes to buying your thing? So here at Think Media, we are helping people with our Video Ranking Academy learn the steps for how to do YouTube right. One of the problems they have is what camera do I use for YouTube? The equipment is a blocker. It's a obstacle for them actually getting started on YouTube. So we're making content that then leads them to the opportunity that we have um, after they've decided what equipment that they should get for YouTube. So you need to create your content roadmap. Grab a piece of paper and think about what are the 20 questions that people have. You wanna be answering specific questions on your YouTube channel. Don't just make random content for random content content's sake, actually be thinking about what is the problem I can solve for the audience that I want to serve. So what are the 20 questions that you have? Let me know in the comments section below, have you already done this before? Have you created your content map? Tip number three is I wanna make sure you're giving clear call to actions in your videos. No one knows you have something for them unless you tell them you have something for them. So what does this look like? Well, here at Think Media, if you've watched several of our videos, even on the podcast, you'll hear us 
clearly say what we want your next step to be. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you'd like to check out another video in the YouTube Made Simple series, you can click or tap the screen right now. If you wanna learn how to go deeper and learn the step-by-step -step of how to do YouTube right, or if you want to learn the three secrets of YouTube success, you can go to our masterclass, which is a free masterclass that gives you those tools to get started. Now we give you a clear URL, which is thinkmasterclass.com. And when you type that in or you click it in the description box below, you are then sent to a site that you can sign up for. This is outside of YouTube and we're giving you a clear call to action. So if you have a course that you're selling, but you don't tell anyone you're selling it, no one will know that they should buy it. And I understand it can feel weird, but here's the thing, to sell is to serve. So when you think about, hey, do you wanna to go to the next step with me? Hey, would you like to download this free thing? Hey, would you like to jump on a free 15 minute call? You can do that here. That is just inviting someone into the next step in their relationship with you online. That doesn't mean that everyone's gonna take that step. And if people are offended by you saying that, here's what I say, good, because they're probably not the right audience for you. You want the person that needs what you have. You want the person who sees you as the authority, as the expert, as the best friend a couple steps ahead that is telling them the next step they should go on. Let me ask you this. Have you been sitting across from a friend before and they're just really struggling with something and they say, you know, what they're struggling with and you have the answer for them. Now, if you decided not to tell them the answer, I mean, that's on you, but at the same time, you have an answer for them to help them in their journey. Now, I look at the same thing as selling online, as using YouTube as a marketing machine. We have the opportunity for five minutes or 10 minutes or 20 minutes or an hour, depending on how long your video is, to give the invitation to go deeper in our relationship. Maybe this is right for you. Maybe you've been thinking about doing YouTube for the last six months, two years, five years, but right now is the right season for you to jump in. Well, if I didn't tell you that you have a way to jump in with us to go deeper, then you're probably gonna waste more time, more money, more energy trying to figure this out on your own. So give a clear call to action about where you want someone to go next. And here's some opportunities. If you are selling something that is say over $100 or $200, you wanna probably give them something that's an exchange in the relationship first. So what could a free gift be that you give to someone? Maybe it's a free audio download. Maybe it's a checklist or it's some way that they can, um, a download that can help them get results in advance. In advance of what, Heather? In advance of buying something from you. So be thinking about ways that you can do this. You can Google this online, you know, uh, free or um, ideas for freemiums or free gifts to give to people online. And you'll get a bunch of ideas from that. And I recommend thinking about what have you opted into? What are some things that you get for free online? Is it a seven day trial of something? Is it, uh, have you gotten on a, a call with a real estate agent and done a free call of, or a consultation? Be thinking about the things that you have opted into because you are part of the tribe that you're serving. So what are some things that they would want to opt into as well? You need to give that call to action in your videos. And not in a spammy, slimy way, you wanna offer value first in your video, and then you wanna give someone a clear call to action of where they should go next. All right, so we now know who we're serving. We know the questions they're asking. We're giving clear call to actions. And tip number four is you want to direct someone to a sales page before they purchase your course. So you wanna have a sales page set up, not just sending them directly to your course, right? Not just sending them directly to a buy button, but you wanna give them this page that comes before the buy button, right? You wanna give them a page before they enter their credit card information. So here's what a sales page looks like. This is a page where you are building authority where you're talking about the features and benefits, where you're sharing with a future casting of where someone could be once they've taken your online course. And I'll link down in the description box below, Thinkific, who is in partnership for this video, they did a wonderful blog post about the elements that lead to a great sales page. So I'll link that down below. And if you've not set up a sales page yet and you would like to do this, I highly recommend that you go with Thinkific. Whether you are a channel about cooking or guitar teaching, 
teaching or business, think if it could be right for you. It can help you set up these types of pages without wasting more time and more money. And there's actually a reason why over 50,000 course creators have already used Thinkific to build their online courses, to build their sales pages, and to build their communities off of YouTube. So if you would like to try Thinkific out for free, you can go to createwiththink.com and get signed up today. All right, and tip number five is I want you to build an email list. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, I know it doesn't sound like a lot of fun. You're like, I wanna build the next cool TikTok. I wanna do the next cool reel. I get it. But if you are trying to build a real, sustainable online business or offline business, you need to be building your email list. Now, I know that that doesn't, like email is archaic. It's not, people still use email. And in fact, email sales, which is what you're trying to do, right? You're trying to sell your course, they are on the rise. People want to have connections in an email form. So here's what I recommend you doing. As you're giving that clear call to action, you want to be exchanging that free gift for an email. This is gonna help you to be able to build a relationship with someone outside of the YouTube platform. Because here is the reality. We don't own YouTube. YouTube owns YouTube. And so we are building on rented land. I need you to be building on land that you own. And so that means you need to be building your contact list outside of YouTube. You don't own your subscribers. You don't own your views. And if it were to go away tomorrow, do you have a way to be contacting the people that wanted what you had to offer? Without an email list, you are building on rented land. And I can tell you about so many horror stories about YouTube channels being shut down, Facebook channels being shut down, Instagram handles being shut down, and people's entire businesses evaporating overnight. Why? because they were just building on rented land. So even if you are just starting, even if you're like, Heather, I only have 100 subscribers, that's fine. I want you to be giving call to actions like you have a million subscribers. I want you to be building an email list one person at a time, like you have a million people on your email list. I want you to be thinking about how do I, how do I engage people on this platform? How do I help them go deeper? How can I answer their questions in email? And if you have questions about building out your email, I'll link to a video down below of you know places that we recommend and different softwares that we recommend for you to have that. And if you're feeling overwhelmed, here's the thing, you are building a business. So I want you to take it one step at a time, but I want you to remember that building an email list should be the foundation for what you are building upon. YouTube is your marketing machine, but your email list is where your customers are going to come from. So I hope that helps you today get started in creating and selling your online course. And if you have not yet done your online course, like this is all just ethereal and you're here trying to figure this whole thing out, you need to watch the next video where I will be teaching you step-by-step -step for free how to set up your online course. Thanks for watching, we'll catch you next time.